In my last video, I explained why I think there's a very low likelihood that the potential drones sighted on the East Coast are nuclear bomb sniffers, but what about that radiation map that's showing levels spiking all over New York and New Jersey? While the map is very interesting, all of the data on it is generated by hobbyists with hobbyist grade devices like this one. This is a GQ Geiger counter, and one of my favorite things to do is hold it up next to my smoke detector so that it measures the low levels of radiation coming off of the americium within. But the problem doesn't stop at the ease at which these can be tricked into giving the appearance of greater levels of environmental radiation. Some of that data I saw on that map is bogus, and I'll show you why. Don't take my word for it. Go to gmcmap.com and see for yourself. Here's a point that's labeled as having an elevated counts per minute, yet the radiation level seems to be normal background. Here's a point with a much elevated counts per minute, yet the radiation level is zero micro sieverts per hour. Those two numbers don't go together. If you have an elevated counts per minute, you should have some sort of radiation level that's greater than zero. So this, unfortunately, is not a real reading. So please be prepared. I love having prepared people all around me, but unless you can independently verify those readings on your own, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over this.